today we're going to be working with some different nibs and I'm going to show you how that affects your calligraphy. So I got a few here. They're all on straight holders. You can also use an oblique holder if you prefer. I am left-handed, so I prefer the straight holder. And this right here is my most favorite nib in the whole world. It's the Brow Steno. It's got this kind of blue black color and is very wide and flexible. Then we've got the Browse EF66, so EF stands for extra fine. So I like to use this for smaller surfaces or if I just want really thin hairlines. This is the Nico G, it's got a big G on it here. And I have put some tape around it because it wasn't fitting in the holder as solidly as I would like. So this is a great beginner nib. I provide this in all of my beginner modern calligraphy classes. Then we also have the Hunt 101 Imperial, which I also usually provide in my beginner classes. Um, it's a very flexible nib and used to be my favorite one. It's got this token kind of trident shape for the reservoir. And if you're not sure about parts of the nib, um, the reservoir is just this little hole where the ink sits before it comes out onto your paper. So you always wanna dip far enough in to fill that entire hole. And we'll link all the supplies below. Um, this ink is the Yasutomo Sumi ink, and this is a Rhodia pad. Okay, so this is my go-to nib. Um, if you've ever seen any of my work, you are probably recognizing it because this is what I most likely wrote <laughs> that piece with. I buy this in packs of 50 and always have a bunch of extras. And I start a new nib every time I start a new envelope project or anything after I've done 100 or so pieces. So this one's pretty flexible. And then I'm going to show you one that's a lot less flexible, which is the Nico G. And we use that a lot for beginners in my workshops. All right, so you can already see that the downstrokes are already a little bit thinner here. The hairlines are a little bit thinner as well. So you just get a similar amount of contrast, but an overall thinner shape here. And then we're gonna use one that is extremely flexible, which is this Hunt 101. So a lot of people in my beginner classes don't like it because when you're going up, it's a little scratchier and has a little tendency to pick. So this used to be one of my favorite nibs. Um, before I started using the brows. And it's a good beginner nib, especially um, for someone who doesn't have a heavy hand, you can get really good contrast out of it. So I'll show you that. Okay, so you can see this is a lot thicker of a downstroke. The upstrokes are actually pretty thin comparatively, so you get a lot of really good contrast here. And I felt like I was barely pressing down um, even as hard as I normally do with the brows. So you can get very, very thick 
and then contrasting. Let's see if I can do this. You can see just how wide that downstroke is, even though we ran out of ink, and how easy it is to get that huge amount of contrast with this nib. So then last, I'm gonna show you the Browse EF66. And like I said, this is for um, smaller surfaces or anytime I just like those extra thin lines. So it's almost tendency for me to write even smaller with this nib. It's actually hard to <laughs> write big because you feel like you're doing something wrong, but it's got a lot of good contrast. It's very bendy, just like the Hunt 101, um, but still has some of those extra thin hair lines. So I don't like to use it on envelopes because it feels like you're using a lot of ink and dipping a lot because it doesn't hold as much. Um, and it feels like you're writing too big for the nib. You can actually feel that. Um, but this is just to show you a little bit about how nibs can affect your overall style. John Neal Bookseller, who I can link below, has a copper plate sampler pack that has 20, 30 nibs in it that you can try out. And the more you try, the more comfortable you'll get with them. So I used to almost exclusively use the Hunt. Now I almost exclusively use this browse and then sometimes this one if I'm writing on a smaller surface. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and let us know what you thought of this little tutorial and if you'd like to see more.